The week leading up to the opening day of New York State gun season, I had six different buck that were regularly coming in to two water tanks that I had around the area I was going to be hunting. Two of them, Angles and Scarface, were my targets, and I hoped that opening weekend I was going to get to see one of these two come by me. It's the second day of gun season in New York State. The winds are even stronger today than they were yesterday. We're talking a real feel of 6 degrees with 27 degree temperatures, winds from the west up to 18 miles per hour. So today I'm going to be smart and I'm going to sit in the hut that I built two winters ago over at COVID. So we well, golden windy, but the good news is I saw a buck on the way out to where I'm going to park. I'm going to head out, sit down, get in my hut, get out of the wind. pretty exciting and oh my god it happened so fast I've got a field behind me that's wheat and uh, down below me I've got woods you know I would spend most of my time looking down into the woods behind me here and then I'd spend some time turning around and glancing behind me in this wheat field and uh, as I turned around one time to look in the wheat field behind me something caught my eye and I looked and there was a doe that was running diagonally across the field um, heading towards the woodlot to the one area I don't have a shooting lane over here on the left and no sooner did I catch her eye I look and there's a, a nice buck that's chasing her behind and uh, I got my GoPro going and got the window out um, on my left hand side that was going to give me a shot before they go into some thick brush and uh, before I even got my GoPro on she was gone and in the brush and going and he stopped for a split second um, went ahead and started munching on wheat for a second I looked through my scope and it was all fog I, <laughs> I couldn't see so I'm looking out of my scope and into my scope and trying to find out whether it's a shooter or not and uh he put his head up and I saw him and I went, oh yeah, he's definitely a shooter for sure. So I went ahead and got ready to shoot and I was trying to clear the scope because it was foggy and all of a sudden he took a couple of steps and I lost him in the scope. So I had to find him in the scope again and I put it right on his shoulder and I shot and I saw his tail flick and he ran away along the wheat and then he must have dived down into the brush. So I'm interested to really get an eye on this guy. and and see so we'll wait here about a half hour 45 minutes let things calm down and i get down and take a look and see his tracks and look for blood and we'll go from there but yeah i'm pretty pumped man i'm pretty pumped you know a lot of work going into building this blind two two winters ago and i don't have all the shooting lanes i want in it yet but i'm pretty psyched if i shot a deer from my own hut that's that's pretty cool yeah yeah, baby. Another deer just walked across the top right there to the right. There's the blind back there. 
and uh, shot them along here. I found blood that's already starting to get covered up by snow and some tracks as he ran through here. And then uh, right here, you can see that he turned and uh, hooves splayed running. And uh, he went back into this thick stuff right here. So I'm gonna get my stuff together here and uh, get settled in and see if we can go find this guy. It's amazing how you sit here and start second guessing yourself. I know that I had a good shot. I was confident, put the crosshairs right on the shoulder, took my time, uh, got down after about 30 minutes and checked and found tracks and blood uh, going into the woods. Uh, I didn't follow it any further. I came back to the hut here and as I did that, a doe and two fawns came down out of the field and down into the woods beside me, it, just as I was crawling back into the hut. So I'm gonna take all my stuff to the truck here and uh, I just texted Steve and let him know. I decided to get down and grab my stuff and head back to the truck. It's starting to snow again. I want to try and get on a trail before I lose too much of it here. So this is going to make it a bit more difficult. So I just walked into the woods. Got a heavy snow squall and it says it's not going to quit. So I just put my Onyx tracker on and I'm going through this real thick stuff right along the edge of the field where it went in. I'm just going to have to start making quadrants from there. The snow covered up everything in the short period of time it came, like within five minutes. It sucks. Tons of snow geese flying over. That's pretty cool. Steve and I both split up. We're both kind of doing some compartments. That snow came in and took care of all the tracks and blood. So right now we're assuming he probably went downhill, being that he was in pain. And uh, we'll go ahead and do some compartments here and see if we can come up with something. I only went about another 60 yards and I just jumped him. He didn't go bounding away running. He just kind of walked away. I tried to get my gun up and take a shot, but he dropped down over a steep embankment before I could get a shot. So I'm gonna go back up and get Steve right now and uh, we're gonna make a game plan uh, to see if we can uh, continue to follow the tracks on this deer. And see if we can go ahead and get a second shot at him. Steve and I got to the point where we found three beds in a row. My hands were absolutely freezing. So I just went back up and grabbed my gloves and grabbed another jacket and came back down. There was no way my hands were so cold. I was going to hold that rifle to get a shot on him as we were sneaking up on him. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to finish following his tracks and trailing him and see if we can find him now and that way I can get a shot with warm hands. So opening weekend buck on the farm. Uh, Steve helped me track it. I had definitely hit it back, so I was fortunate that we were able to track it down and get another shot on it. Um, definitely happy. Meat in the freezer. Uh, got this buck out of my blind, which I spent a lot of time working on two years ago. And uh, first time in a lot of years I got a buck opening weekend. So thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. Congratulations, Kurt. Thank you. Successful hunt. We were able to find the buck that I shot this morning. Uh, really sucked. The scope was foggy. I ended up shooting him further back than I wanted to and got liver. But unfortunately, we were able to find him, able to finish him off so he didn't suffer. He definitely would have died. There's no doubt about it. So I'm just so fortunate that we were able to find him and he didn't die and the coyotes get him. I got my gun buck for New York State this year. Not a monster, but definitely totally happy and excited that I got a gun buck opening weekend. Very cool. Okay, off to get the truck. Go back down, pick up Steve, get this deer tagged, get it in the back of my truck.
funny. There's two does sitting here staring at me that are bedded right on the edge of this hill right by the road. He left a pretty big trail coming down there, didn't he? That's, that's not a bad drag pulling it downhill in the snow, huh? Thank you for doing that. Slippery and hard walking. Mm -hmm. really not really effort. So you got to fill out a tag? And yeah, I got it right here. I'm going to fill it out. What is he? Three on the drop. All right. 